Data Abstract makes it really easy to build a middle tier server. Just use Schema Modeler to define the schema, and the Project Wizard really does the rest. There are enough options during the wizard, and enough flexibility in Schema Modeler that most developers never need to modify the server once they finish the wizard. With each new project, just run the wizard again and create a new server. Then one day, someone thought, what if we took one server and added all the different options from the wizard to it? Added the ability to reflect on the schema at runtime instead of generating code beforehand. Added all the advanced features like DA SQL, all the communication channels, and all the message types. Support for extensibility through scripting, and then make it run on every platform. When you're done, you have the last middle tier server you ever need, the one middle tier to rule them all. You have Relativity Server. We like to call Relativity Server the middle tier in a box. Now, I don't say that to box it in, but because when it comes out of the box, it is ready to go without needing to compile any code. Relativity is more than just a super configurable middle tier server. Since it's the last server you will ever need, it actually supports having multiple servers in one. We call each of these servers domains, and each domain is completely self-contained from the other domains on the Relativity server. Each domain can have one or more schemas. Each schema is a published representation of data tables and commands. A schema can have one or more connections to databases. That may be because a schema maps to tables in multiple databases, or maybe the schema is moving from one database to another. Now you can share these connections between two schemas in the same domain. You cannot share connections between two domains though. Remember, domains are self-contained. Relativity is able to connect to a very large number of databases, but if it doesn't support the database you need, you can easily add support for it. Each domain also has a login provider. The login provider determines how a login is validated. There are five login provider options. Static list is a simple list of usernames and passwords. It is recommended you don't use this in production unless you are hard coding the login credentials in the client. LDAP allows you to have an integrated single sign-on by validating the login with your LDAP server. DBTable uses a table specified in your schema to validate the username and password. DB command is the most flexible. It passes the username and password to a DB command defined in your schema for validation. The admin option is again most likely used when you are hard coding the login credentials in your client and user security is not a concern. It uses the same username and password that is defined for Relativity Server administration. It is important to note that there are two login providers for each domain. The developer login provider can work with data and modify the schema, while the data access login provider can only work with data. Working with domains, connections, and all other administrative tasks requires the admin login. The admin login provider can only be static list or LDAP. Relativity Server and its administration tools ship with every edition of Data Abstract. DA for Xcode, DA for .NET, and DA for Delphi. Truly making it the last middle tier server you will ever need. Let's take a closer look at Relativity Server for Data Abstract in action. To launch Relativity Server in application mode, just double click the icon. And we see we have the Relativity Server window up here. There is no user interface here, but down in system tray, we can right click to shut down or stop the server. You'll also notice down the system tray here, I have the RIM objects RO zero conf hub running. This provides a service similar to Bonjour and allows for the auto discovery of relativity servers. If you're running Bonjour or a similar service, then you don't need this, but we provide it for you just in case. If I minimize this, it disappears down to the system tray. Now, in order to administer my Relativity Server, I need to run the Relativity Server admin tool. Comes up here, automatically discovered our local Relativity Server. I'll go ahead and click to log in. And we've connected to our local Relativity Server. Network settings is where we configure the channels that is used to communicate with the server. We have the default channel and the secondary channel. You can specify a channel type for the secondary channel. The default channel is always HTTP. If you do not want a secondary channel, set the port numbers the same. Login is where we specify the login provider. 
The default is using the static login provider for admin, which uses a username of administrator and a password of relativity. Domains is the individual servers within the Relativity server. Right now I have two domains set up. Within each domain, you specify the login provider that provides login for that domain. We have a data access login provider, which gives the user level access. And we have the developer login provider, which gives the additional access to modifying the schema. Additional options here of the DB command login provider and the DB table login provider. These require a schema in order to connect to the database and use that for the login validation. Admin services login provider means use the same login provider at the admin level. The default login for the data access login provider is username data password relativity. Connections lists all the connections that we have in this domain all the connections are shared between all the schemas in the domain. From here, we can edit a connection. There's the connection string. We can delete connections or create new connections. From each schema, we can open the schema in Schema Modeler or view the schema here. Here's the names of the tables, the data tables, and the names of the columns within that table. Open this in Schema Modeler. And here is our data tables. Here is the tables in the database that the data tables map to. And here is the list of connections again. Again, from here, we can edit these connections, test them, etc. Of course, we could do an entire video just on Schema Modeler, so we'll save that for another episode. Once we close this, it updates back into Relativity Server Administrator, and you're ready to go. To add a new schema, just click here, Add New Schema, and your new schema is created open it in Schema Modeler to work with it. That's it for our short introduction to the Relativity Server administration on Windows. Data Abstract's Relativity Server has been available on Mac OS X for a number of releases now. What is new in the most recent release is the Data Abstract Server Explorer. The Data Abstract Server Explorer combines Schema Modeler and the Relativity Administration into a single application. It automatically discovers your local relativity instance or another relativity instance on the network. You need to provide the login credentials, which is the default of administrator and relativity. Connect to it. From here, now I can change the login provider to one of the two that are available at the admin level or configure the one I've selected. Drivers lists all the drivers, database drivers that are available for this relativity server. Domains lists all the domains. Remember, each domain is an individual server within the Relativity Server. You can add a new domain or look at one of these domains here. Need to provide the data access login because Data Abstract Server Explorer uses Relativity in order to browse the data on the remote database. It doesn't connect to the database directly. So you need to provide the credentials here, which is default of user and password. I hope you've changed that. It uses the admin login provider to administer the domain. If you are not using the admin login provider, then you would need to provide the username and password here. From here, now that I've connected to this domain, I can change the login providers. I have the additional option of selecting DB command login provider or DB table login provider. This is a list of all the connections that are available inside this domain. All the schemas in this domain have access to these connections. Can create a new connection, or from here I can test, edit, or show the connections document. The connection document lists all the contents within that database. Schemas are the individual representations of the data that we're exposing in the databases. The preview table lets you see the data that's in a schema. You can edit that schema to add a table. Just simply drag from here over. And then to modify, you just select what you want to modify. Like that. This has been an introduction to Data Abstract Server Explorer for Mac OS X. Keep in mind, this is a preview release.
so that means it is subject to change in upcoming releases with new features being added. As of right now though, as you can see, this really does probably most everything you're going to need in order to get up and going with Relativity on Mac OS X. So if you haven't downloaded the latest version of Data Abstract for Mac OS X, I suggest you do that today.